Hi, I am Jonathan from from Story Mode, and I am here at Retro City. It's a great convention, and I am here with Mega Ran. How's your day going so far? Hey, it's going really well. Thanks for having me for this interview. Uh, I like City that I've seen. I haven't gotten to do much. I just a table and been hanging out. But it looks really cool, so I can't wait to see. That is amazing. That is awesome. Just to let you know ahead of time, I am a huge fan of your music, especially. <laughs> and and to be honest, I am nervous. I'm just like my YouTube channel is. I'm legit. I'm real. So. Uh, oh, <laughs> Don't be nervous, dude. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, how how did you get into music? Well, I always loved music. You know, every Saturday morning, my mom would we would clean the house, and my mom would play music really loud all through the house. It was usually like oldies, you know, soul and gospel and funk and jazz and stuff like that. And um, not really hip hop, but of course then later I got into hip hop and um, I felt like everyone around me, especially in the 90s, were really, really caught up in trying to, you know, really enjoying rap, rap music. So that's what got me into it. And one day I decided to sit down and write my own rap song and the rest is history. That is cool. And speaking about your rap, who are your influences? Because I feel like there's a touch of other people that influence your rap style. Oh, totally, man. Uh, Chub Rock is one of my favorites of all time. LL Cool J, Run DMC, Beastie Boys, Redman, Rakim, Outkast, A Tribe Called Quest, Snoop Dogg. Um, so many influences, man. And I try to take a little bit of everything, you know, and then create my own thing out of it. Oh, that's cool. Especially, I did like the fact you do listen to the old school style rap, but you also listen to the new style between the 90s and now. It's like, it does show it in your work. Thank you. And still speaking about music, how did you find out about the nerdcore scene? Well, I made an album called Mega Ran, which was um, me taking Mega Man tracks and making beats out of them and then rapping on them. And then someone told me, yo, that's like nerdcore. And I was like, what is that? And then I went and looked it up and found MC Frontalot, MC Chris, MC Lars, MC Router, Beefy, uh, a lot of really great rappers. And it was time for me to search and talk to those guys. And they were nice enough to let me join them, do songs together and things like that. And, um, and they took me into the community with open arms, man. And I'm really thankful for that. I'm so happy to hear that because the Nerdcore scene is one of the, like, it's big, but it's not well known. And I did make some beats of my own back in the day for no core cool artists, just for fun. But I'm glad that it just opened you up to ours because it's a cool community to work with. It really is, man. There's, there's a lot of great people, super talented, nice people. That's one thing I noticed. Like, I did a lot in, in the traditional hip-hop circles, doing open mics and rapping and things. And a lot of people are very resistant to when you do something different. And so you got a lot of rappers that are standing there like, yeah, right, what are you going to do? And you get a lot of the cold show in Nerdcore. A lot of folks are fans. They want to see and hear more. So, uh, so that helped me out a lot. Okay, because we are in a gaming convention, I do have to ask this. What is your favorite gaming franchise? Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That game is really, really hard. Um, Mega Man has got to be up there, but it's actually not my favorite franchise. My favorite franchise is Super Mario. Um, from from the first one to Mario Odyssey, like they're always great, innovative, super fun games. And um, I played Odyssey so much, and I, I wouldn't even think I was going to really enjoy it. I was like, ah, I think I'm, I've grown out of this. And then you start playing, and you're like, oh, man, it's so magical. So... Mario is this, you know, Mario 3 has been incredible for me. I still go back and play that in Mario World. So, Super Mario by far, hands down. Nice. Thank you again for taking your time and Thank interview. You. Oh, yeah, that's right. Too sweet. Oh, but let's be careful. Vincent Man will sue us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks again and have a nice time, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Peace.